With the surge in popularity of browsing on mobiles and tablets, it's becoming essential to create sites that are tailored to the needs of these visitors. Web Designer offers a what you see is what you get, no coding solution, that allows you to create variants of your site at different widths. These are exported as a single HTML file, so that your website responds dynamically to the screen size of the viewer, presenting the design most appropriate to their device. The easiest way to create a new website is to use one of our templates, and the same is true about creating a responsive site. I'm loading one of the themes that comes with the mobile variants, shown with an R. The first thing you'll notice is that it has opened two tabs. This is the regular site, and this is the mobile version. These will display on any device with a screen size of 620 pixels or below. I can edit them separately so that I have total control over how they look on the different devices, but they do also share content where appropriate, but more on that later. Publish this website in exactly the same way as normal. What I'm going to show you now is how to create your own variants. I'm going to use one of our themes again and create a mobile variant. I'll enable multi-page view. As you can see, it's a fairly simple design of just seven pages. To create a variant, I simply right-click, Website Variants, Website Variants. I'm going to create a 480 pixel mobile site. But I could, for example, do one for tablets. Immediately you can see that a second tab has opened with a new variant. Some important changes to the design have been made for me. In particular, the page has been resized to 480 pixels. Now it's up to me to arrange the design as I think best for this page size. Just scale it down, rearrange the logo, scale down the photo and put it here. Web Designer has plenty of features that will help you make the adjustments quickly. One of them is repeating objects. So if I scroll down to the next page, you'll see that the heading has been automatically adjusted. It will be the same on all the other pages. It will be the same with the footer. I can just rescale it. Maybe I need to make the text a bit bigger. If you're an affiliate, don't forget to reposition the Made with Zara link. Now this is a widget, and I'm just going to scale it down. It takes a little bit of time to render. So the first page is beginning to look good. Scroll down. Here's the second column of text. I'm just going to move that under the first column, like this. And you'll see that the page length has automatically increased to accommodate the extra text. Let's do the same for page 2. Again, I just grab the second column, drag it onto the left like this. It has been added under the first column, and the page is automatically stretched. And that's page 2 done already. For page 3, I just have some text that I need to drag and drop. Again, I'll put it underneath, like that. It's a pretty simple page. For the store page, I'm going to do the same again. Just drag and drop the text and adjust the position. For the news page, again, drag and drop. Get the alignment right and check the page has been stretched. I also have a text panel which I'm going to drag into here. You'll see that we have repelling on so that everything automatically adjusts. Now to the gallery. I'm just going to select these photos and drop them onto the bottom of the page. Yes, that looks fine too. The final page, contact. I could do the same, drag the text and place it underneath the photo as I've done with the other pages, creating one long page. But I'll just show you an alternative for text columns this is also an option on all the previous pages if you want to maintain multi-columns. Switch into the text tool, adjust the width of the column, and see that it all automatically reflows. I think that looks fine, but we wouldn't ever recommend more than two columns on a mobile variant. You could leave the photo there, or you might want to make it smaller, and move it up here. Notice how the page adjusts for you. And that's it. We're done already. Now I have to say that I've chosen a pretty simple template here and I'd recommend that you take a look at part two of this video 
to see an example of a more complex design. Now, before we preview this site, there's one other important thing that I need to explain. And that's how we share content between variants. If you edit the text in one of the versions, for example if I change this heading text, you don't have to copy this across into the other variants. It's all done automatically for you. We call this live sharing. And you can tell when this is happening because a live shared object displays this little double line icon in the corner of the object when you select it. Likewise, if I change the photo, for example, let's put that one there. That has also been changed in my variants. It's a great time saver. If you don't want the change copied, for example, if you're cutting text from a mobile version, just select the text you want to delete like this. Go to Website Variants and select Stop Sharing with Variants. Now you can delete it in the mobile version and it won't be cut from the main variant. There are exceptions to this sharing. Obviously, if you change the size of a photo or crop it, then that won't be copied. Neither will changes to repeating objects such as navbars, because these are edits that you'd expect to make only in the mobile variant. So web designer is making intelligent guesses about what should and shouldn't be copied. But we would always recommend that you switch between the variants regularly, making sure that you haven't got any unexpected changes. Keep an eye on that as you're going along, and of course, when you preview at the end. The mobile variant is looking good, and I think we're ready to preview it. Select Preview Whole Site. And here's my preview. It's good practice to check all the pages on the normal website. I'm going to do that first. Yes, all looks fine. Then simply adjust the browser window and you'll see it automatically switches to the mobile version. Take a careful look through each page. Yes, it's looking good. Just make sure that you check all of the pages. And now I'm ready to publish. In fact, there's no difference in the publishing. It's just a single file published in the normal way. If you have a Magic's Online World account, you just have to enter your account details. Otherwise, publish to your normal host in the usual way. And that's it. You don't have to do any more. You'll find your website automatically adjusts to the device that's being used to view it.